Alrighty. Here we are on Caldera's Desert. The winner of the last game, in quick and easy style, Blood Rain, playing as the red Warp Spider Exarch. And in the blue, playing as the Commando Knob, it is Fufu Hunter. Uh, definitely a pretty severe skill mismatch here. Uh, you know, Blood Rain is one of the best players still active in the game, and Fufu is definitely more of an intermediate level. And I think we saw the results of that in the last game. Let's see if Fufu can improve upon his performance this time around, though. Less, uh, less high ground to mess around with on Caldera's Desert, but a lot of choke points still. Can be a very difficult map to play against the Warp Spider Exarch. Lots of little points of cover that he can teleport between and uh, make your life real miserable. Like this, for example. Look at the damage from those uh, death spinners. Already killing a slugger boy. And then the second they get close, two slugger boys, or be three. The second they get close, he teleports away. And now he punches shooter boys. Banshees and guardians moving into support. Where is the commando knob? The commando knob is on his way over. But two sluggers have fallen for very little trade. Barely 100 hit points off the uh, Warp Spider X. Setting up here was a bit risky. Must have not seen the uh, uh, Commando Knob in infiltration. So it takes huge damage there from the Commando Knob. So, Slugger Boys back in base, replenishing, reinforcing. Most of the map, however, going red, as Free Free Hunter has been forced to use his entire army over here, where the uh, Eldar have only used three of their four units, having Guardians off capping up the west, the east side of the map. Banshees now moving in. Stun Grenade will be missed, unfortunately, so now the Slugger's here to counter-initiate. With Big Shoot support, Banshees and Guardians get out of there. Commando Knob chasing down Guardians, seeing if you can get one final model off them in the retreat, but no such luck. Skip the setup team this time, did uh, Blood Rain, went straight for Rangers. Uh, Warp Spider Exarch set up in the heavy cover behind the tank trap. Now moving in under suppression from aiming what's that to melee the shooter boys to death. Not the best melee combatant, the uh, Warp Spider Exarch, but not the worst either. Huge amounts of bleed inflicted on the orcs here. Luckily, they have a lot of requisition, so we shouldn't set them back too much. What did they just purchase? Storm Boys again. Commando Knob retreating on low health. The Warp Spider Exarch moves in to decap the natural wreck point of Fufu Hunter. Meanwhile, Slugger Boys are in the northwest, under fire from Rangers. Cut off on retreat by Guardians and potentially Banshees. No, the Banshees aren't moving over. If the Guardians had their battle equipment, they could have tried for a... Retreat path grenade there could have been quite good. There's a couple of places on this map that you can pretty much accurately predict where people are going to run through, and it's obviously these little choke points. If they're retreating from anywhere on this side of the map, they're going to run through one of these choke points. If you can position a grenade there or get a melee squad in retreat path, you can do significant damage to your opponent. Only one squad of big shooters up. They do take out a Guardian. The Storm Boys are in play, waiting for the Banshees to commit. Suppressed now by the Aiming What's That, and diving in onto the Rangers of the Storm Boys. <coughs> this will be a full retreat here from the uh, from the Eldar, losing two Ranger models. That's expensive. I think, they, did they lose a Banshee? They did not. So a Guardian and two Rangers was killed in that engagement. Storm Boys... Doing pretty good work there, managed to get onto the ranges, not quickly reacted to by Blood Ring. I thought he could stick around, maybe bait the Storm Boys into a fight, and counter-initiate with Banshees, but good play from Fufu, suppressing them with the big shooters, and then focusing them down with the shooter boys. Warp Spider again, in good cover here, will sh shred through these shooter boys. Even with the big shooters out of cover, this is not a good fight for them. We have the improved targeters as well, which uh, massively increases the range and the damage of the Warp Spider Exarch's ranged weapons. 
Slugger boys are off capping. Where is the commander not also capping? The Eldar force. Double guardians. Banshees and two ranger squads. Now completely on the uh, western side of the map. Attacking the commander knob. Defending the western victory point. Commander knob throwing a stun grenade. It's going to miss. It does catch one ranger model actually. I think he was aiming for the banshees. But slightly mistimed it. Didn't lead them. Here come the shooters into the choke point, getting a shooter boy knob. Banshee's taking some losses here, but the shooter boys fighting out of cover are going to take significantly more damage. Warp Spider x teleporting forwards into light cover behind this tree branch. The shooter boys, oh god, only just got out of there. But that was, what, seven or eight orcs dead then? Yeah, f five or six at least. And then the Storm Boys getting uh, chopped down by Banshees, losing a model. And now the power is in jeopardy as the Orcs have to retreat and reinforce, having used all of their resources to do so. Tier 2 is not even in sight for them. Tier 2 shortly about to start from Blood Rain, no doubt. This... Power bash goes off. The rangers are not in range to detect the commander knob. But he throws the grenade directly into the faces of Blood Rain's army. Easily dodged. And now the rangers are detecting the commander knob. Commander knob leading the charge forwards. Charging on into the rangers. But he's on such low health he has to immediately retreat out. And he may go down on retreat here. Indeed he should. Oh my god that was close. Yeah. And down he goes. Big shooters now. The Warg popped. Lots of damage against the Eldar. But Tier 2 well on the way now for Blood Rain. And a long way away for Fufu. Only did lose one generator, however. The Eldar, not the best at power bashing. No access to flames. Oh, and meanwhile, the Slugger Boys managed to get in and do some damage to the power generators of Blood Rain. I didn't even notice that. That's a nice play from Fufu. Hey, Rostam. Let's see how we can get on here. Maybe uh, should see a Falcon Grav tank quite almost immediately from Blood Rain, I would imagine. And a Ranger squad went down. I'm not sure where that happened. Let's see if we can find their bodies. Where did they die? I have no idea. Ah, Warp Spider called in from the Warp Spider exit. Sorry, I, I said that wrong. Ugh! A warp spider! That's that's how you're supposed to say it. Diomedes says it that way. And we all know Diomedes is the captain of our hearts. Where did they kill the rangers? It must have been the sluggers, right? Uh, maybe not. I don't know who cares at this point. Rangers died. That's what matters. Guardians run into a whole world of Daka. Meanwhile, Sluggers are going to get teleported away from by the Warp Spider Exarch. The Commander Knob is infiltrated. He has his better combat kit, making him a much tankier opponent. Banshees have their aspect of strength. Shooter Boys. Lower models here. Only three of them, but that's the Knob and the two big shooter models. So most of the damage comes from these three models on the squad. Stun Grenade being thrown into the cover behind which the Eldar Guardians are hiding. Does not hit anything. Tier 2 could be an option here for Fufu Hunter. Banshees flanking round. The Storm Boys jumping onto the Guardians. This leaves the uh, Shooter Boys completely exposed to the wrath of the Banshees who uh, exact a harsh retribution upon them. And the Shooter Boys get minced by the ranged DPS. And they're going to wipe two Banshees on the retreat path. We lost Shooter Boy. We lost Sluggers. We lost everything there except for the two Shooter Boy squads and the Commander Nub. Yeah, uh, Fufu's... Uh, Fufu is outmatched here, there's no doubt about it.
Ooh. Well, we called you. There we go. There's the there's the concede. Oh, that's like. I was expecting him to concede there, and uh, yeah, that was a that was a bit of a uh, bit of a stomp there to be expected. Blood Rain is obviously.